So currently we have this IP address and if I copy it and paste it on my browser, then I can access my website. I have slightly modified my website from the previous video. So now my website looks like this. But as you can see that it doesn't have a domain name. I'm accessing my website using the IP address as well as that my website is not secure. That is, it doesn't work on HTTPS and doesn't have SSL certificate. So in this video, I will show how you can purchase a domain name and can make it point to your IP address so that you can access your website using the domain name instead of IP address. And in my next video, I will show you that how you can make your website HTTPS enabled. So in this video, first of all, you have to purchase a domain. So you can purchase a domain from any of the web hosting company such as GoDaddy. But in GoDaddy, they provide paid service. So in order to test or for trial purpose, you can purchase a domain name from GitHub Student Developer Pack. In good GitHub student developer pack, there is dot tech domain present here. So click on dot tech. So this is a dot tech domain website. Here you can search for a domain name of your choice and then you can purchase it for one year free of cost using your GitHub student developer pack. So I have purchased a domain name shivansh2598 dot tech and I will use that domain name in order to for in order to continue my video. So here I'll go to my account. It will take a couple of minutes and it's pretty simple to purchase an I uh, purchase a domain name from dot tech domain website. You ha just have to find a domain name of your choice, which is available and then use your student developer pack to purchase it for free of cost for one year. So in jump to domain, uh, write the name of the domain. So it is shivansh2598 in my case and then click on enter. So this will basically fetch all details about the domain. So as you can see, there are several options present here. So the most important option is name server. We will discuss about these options later in my video. So first of all, there are two to three things that you have to understand about domain name settings. So first, the first thing is name server. So whenever a DNS query has been made, then name server resolve these query. For example, on your browser or in your browser, when you type facebook.com, then the name server of Facebook website convert this facebook.com to its equivalent IP address. So these name servers are either provided by default by the web hosting company from which you have purchased the domain or you have to set up your own name server using AWS or anything like that. So if you click here, you can see that there is no name server provided to you. So you, in this case, you have to make your own, own name server using AWS. So AWS have this feature called route 53 using which you can uh, have your own name server and using that name server, you can configure your domain. Um, on the other hand, in GoDaddy, for example, GoDaddy provide its own default name server such as ns65.domaincontrol.com or ns66.domaincontrol.com and in this case you don't have to configure AWS for name server it is already present here so you, in GoDaddy you just have to create this A type record and then in value you have to write the IP address of your AWS machine. So we'll discuss about this A and C name type record. So first of all, we'll go to AWS and create a, create a hosted zone basically. So we'll go to services and we'll search for route 53. This is the feature provided by AWS using which you can get a name server. Here click on create uh, get started now and click on create hosted zone 
now it will ask for a domain name so write the name of the domain you purchased so it is shivansh2598 dot tech dot in my case and click on create now aws provides us with these four name server so we have to copy these name server and paste it here that is inside the dot tech console so i'll do the same just be careful remove the last dot present at the end of this name server or else it will give an error so you have to copy paste all the four name servers provided by aws route 53 and click on update name servers so you have to understand one thing that is if you purchase a domain from godaddy then you don't have to do this part you don't have to create a hosted zone inside route 53 this part is done only for those web hosting companies which doesn't have their own default name servers so this name server part has been completed and it's almost 50% of the task that we have to do in this video so now go back to your route 53 management console and here we have to create some record now as you can see here in the godaddy record set they have record of type a c name and ns etc so ns stands for name server a and c name are two records that we have to create in our route 53 so first of all we'll create an a type record so click on create record set and it is a type as you can see in name don't write anything and in value write the ip address of your ec2 machine so i'll fetch the ip address of my ec2 machine from here so what this a type record does is that it makes a domain point to an ip address so as you can see right now that in our uh, record or in our hosted zone there is no ip address mentioned anywhere right now so we have to make our domain point to our ip address in order to do so we will create an a record which will tell that shivansh2598.tech which is present right here should point to a value which is present here and this value is nothing but the ip address of my ec2 machine after this click on create now we have to create a c name record so c name stands for canonical name and this is used in order for you to make your sub domain point to some other domain that is for example say your website has mail feature and it has a sub domain called mail.shivansh2598.tech and you want this sub domain to point to gmail.com so you can create a cname record something like this in type click on cname in name write www right now if you are creating a sub domain of type mail then write mail instead of www if you are creating an ftp type of sub domain then uh, write ftp here so for now i am creating a www named record this is because whenever someone will type www.shivansh2598.tech then it will redirect to shivansh2598.tech so in value i should write the name of my domain that is shivansh2598.tech so whenever anyone visit www.shivansh2598.tech they will be automatically redirected to shivansh2598.tech and then click on create so we have successfully created our record 
and we have also successfully added the name server in our dot tech panel so our dns configuration has been completed so, but these changes will take almost 30 minutes to come to effect so i'll pause my video right now and when my domain has been successfully configured for example if you refresh this now so it won't work right now because the effects haven't taken place it will take around 30 minutes so finally after an hour or so everything has been configured and now i'm able to access my website using the domain name that i have purchased so if i go to my browser and write shivansh2598.tech so now i'm able to access my website so now you don't have to remember your IP address. You can tell your domain name to anyone and they will be able to access your website. Now I'll check whether this www.shivansh2598 is working or not. So as you remember that we have placed a CNAME record in our Route 53 management console uh, right here that whenever I type www.shivansh2598.tech it must get rerouted to shivansh2598.tech so if i press enter here so i'm able to access my website now if you haven't placed this cname record here then this will not work and it will give an error now as you can see that here it is written that it is not secure like when you will click on it you will get that your connection to this site is not secure which looks a bit fishy and it doesn't sound good but when you go to aws you will see that there is a log present and it is written that your connection is secure so basically this uh, feature you can get using an ssl certificate so in my next video i will tell you that how you can get your own ssl certificate and then make your website https enabled so you don't see this not secure present here and instead of this a lock will be present which will tell that your website is authentic and it is secure so for example if you write https colon slash slash shivansh 259 shivansh2598.tech then this should not work because our website is not https enabled so this should give an error yes and instead of https if you write http then this should work so in my next video i'll tell you that how you can get that https thing for your website so this is all in this video i hope you like my content i will give you a quick review of what we did in this video so if you have purchased a domain name from godaddy or some good web hosting company then you don't have to do anything they will have their own name server and you just have to create an a record and a cname record and then place the corresponding ip address and domain name but if you have purchased a domain name from some free or some cheaper web hosting companies such as the one called dot tech present here so in that case they won't give you their own name server and you have to place your own name server there and for that you can use aws route 53 inside aws route 53 you have to create a hosted zone and in that hosted zone you have to add some record these two records will be already present there and you have to create this two new record one is the a record the other one another one is the c name record and finally you have to copy all this name server and paste it inside your name server settings in dot tech website just like this once you have done all this then your domain should work perfectly fine it will take about an hour or so for everything to get configured so that's all in this video i hope you like my content do sh like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get my future videos instantly thank you